Sometimes I like to break the rules. Do not enter. So bad. It says do not enter. And I entered it. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting this down. I understand. Just so you're aware. Um, Braxton's a stud muffin. So we're having elections for the essay offices here at Southern. And so I said to myself, what would be cooler than having all the people who are running for offices come in and do an interview about why they're running for the office and what they're gonna do once they have the office and... What's up, Jake? You're good. Hi. Jacob Connect. How do you spell your last, or say your last name? Connect. Connect? Yeah. Like connects? No, like you're connecting to the internet. Oh, like connecting to the internet. So I said to myself, what would be cooler than to have all of the people who are running for the essay offices come in and do an interview about why they're running for the office, what they're gonna do in the office, and maybe another like curveball question just to see how they react in a tight situation. I don't know, we'll see. So the vlog style is gonna be a little bit different today. So I'm gonna eat this banana and then we'll go to the interviews. Sound good? Oh, no. That's so sad it fell. Maybe a maybe a bird will come by and eat that banana. My name is Jake Strauss and I'm running for the position of social vice president. Some qualifications I have for the job is in high school I was the social vice president um, for my class for my junior and senior year. I've gained experience working for Carrie Schultz. Um, I was also Destiny Drama's stage manager. And I'm also part of Duck Squad. And I've gotten to know the social vice now, Rachel Cundiff, and gotten to learn a lot from her. I've been talking to people and what I've realized is people just really want free stuff. They want good free food. They want free shirts. They want just free stuff in general. So I really want to um, use these budgets and give back a lot um, to the students and what they want. But for specifics for events, um, I'm thinking like a Polynesian luau, giving out pina coladas and pineapple juice, like a vintage carnival with circus acts and with maybe live animals. I can't remember the exact name of my favorite childhood toy, but it was the thing where you would build like this contraption and you would drop the marble and you would go like follow the little path that you made because I just loved creating the different types of paths it could take and like seeing how high I could get it. What makes me qualified for social vice president is my ambition, innovation, and experience. My drive to go above and beyond in all things I do. My ability to take, not only come up with new ideas, but make them real and execute them. My experience in being a summer camp program director, um, being an animation director, uh, being involved with Just Duck Squad, <laughs> and being a part of the Studio 409 writing team. If I'm elected social vice president, I'm looking at creating a point system for, attending, um, for students attending social events. So basically you could get free food or discounts at campus shop or combo credit for attending essay events and getting involved. And then I'd like to make interactive events, um, so events that people could get involved in rather than just kind of sitting around and being catered to, if that makes sense. My favorite childhood toy is actually a category, Legos, specifically Star Wars Legos. I actually still collect them. Who am I? Uh, my name is Martha Ferrer. I'm the only non-senior citizen Martha you'll probably ever meet, and I'm running for executive vice president. I have been on Senate for the past two years, not past two years, I did take a year abroad, but my freshman year in this past year, I have been on Senate, I've served on various committees, projects, I also served on finance, which was a lot of fun, but currently I'm the projects chair after having served on it both years. In addition, I've been a student leader in high school in all sorts of ways, girls club, essay president, I know high school is a long time ago, but it did give me a basis for what I want to do now at a big university. What would I like to do if I am elected? Um, there's quite a few plans I have in mind. First and foremost, there's a slight organizational issue that I'd like to change. I want to better connect Senate with Essay. Right now, 
We are very separate entities, but I think it has the potential to be a much more symbiotic relationship. And why not use all the resources we have? I'd like the PR committee on SA, on, uh, excuse me, Senate, to be connected with a PR representative on SA, and they can work together. We can do joint events. I want things to be more out there. I want Senate to be more relevant. All right, my favorite childhood toy was a little wagon. It was wooden. I'm sure you've seen them. Everyone had them. It had blocks in it with numbers on certain sides and letters on certain sides. I had a belt and I'd tie this belt to the wagon and I could carry anything in it. It was the greatest thing ever. I believe what makes me qualified to be SA president is my love for people, my willingness to work hard, and my desire to support the team around me as best as I can. What I want to bring in my administration is innovation, to innovate, and that's seen in communication, taking the things I hear and I see as president and effectively communicating it back to the students. I want to create a sense of belonging with the students here, dialoguing with them, seeing their ideas, finding what they can bring to the table so I can put into action. Third, networking. I want to find the different things on campus I can partner SA with to make sure that the students thrive and succeed. Things like campus ministries, first year experience, or alumni association all have potential for great outreach possibilities, good student interaction, and interaction with alumni to find jobs. Favorite childhood toy? Didn't really have too many toys. I played outside. I had a pet llama. That was a real llama? It was a real llama, yeah. <laughs> Love my pet llama, except when I was cleaning up its poop. But it take me on sled rides. That was fun. Well, there you have it. There was a couple people who weren't able to show up for the interview times that I had available. So not everyone made it into this video, but you should definitely check out the convocation on Thursday, which is tomorrow, because all the students who are running for essay positions will be giving their explanation as to why you should vote for them. So definitely come out, show your support, and be a part. You see what I did there? Because Southern's thing is be a part. Get it? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Night.